Hi everyone, this is Jacob Marash from Phoenix Audio Technologies. Uh, thank you for joining us for another video. In this video, I wanna talk about a really cool feature that we have called uh, dual connectivity, as well as bridging, which is kind of the same thing, but a little bit different. I'll explain the differences. So what is dual connectivity? As you might already know, a lot of Phoenix Audio's products can connect to more than one interface. So all our products are gonna be USB based, which means you can plug them in to any computer and do video conferencing or whatever's running on your computer. But you can also buy products that have a secondary interface. So for instance, the Spider 505, which has a SIP interface. We have an analog telephone interface. Uh, we have devices that can plug into your smartphones or tablets. And uh, basically, if you, you name it, we have it. So any product of ours that has more than one interface has dual connectivity, as well as supporting bridging. So dual connectivity is optimal if you have uh, a desktop, a huddle room, or a conference room where you, let's say you want to have video conferencing, but you also want to be able to have a landline where you can just dial out a phone call. Now, instead of having to buy two separate audio devices, so two separate speaker phones, one for your video conferencing and another one for your telephone, you just have to buy one of our products and plug both interfaces into that product, and that product will support and act as the audio device for both interfaces. Now, not only is it connected to both interfaces and you don't have to plug and unplug it, but you can also do what we call bridging, and that is actually initiate a call to the different interfaces and not just communicate to them where they both can hear you, but they can also talk to each other and hear themselves. So what is an example where this will come into hand? Um, let's say you have a video conference call and uh, you're talking to multiple people, but one of the people that are on your team are not here, they're traveling, they're on their cell phone, and they're not able to be part of this video conference call. So what we can do is we can actually dial their cell phone and talk to them and have them be part of this conversation through our device. So on my desk right now, I have a Spider 505, a SIP Spider. It's plugged in both to the wall socket, so it has a phone line running on it. And it's also connected to my desktop computer. And I'm running a video conferencing application here. It could be any video conferencing application. It could be Skype, uh, Blue Jeans, Video, Zoom, you name it, whatever you're running. And I'm gonna dial out to the video conferencing first, and then I'm gonna add uh, Laura in, who is on her cell phone. So let's see how it works. First step is I'm gonna call out our video conference call, and we should talk to Ellie in just a second. Hi, this is Ellie. Hi, Ellie, how's it going? Good, how are you, Jacob? Very good, thank you. Okay, so Ellie is on Skype right now. She can have multiple people there. We can talk to a lot of people in the video conference. But again, Laura is missing and I really want her to be part of this conversation. So I'm actually dial gonna call Laura on her cell phone real quick. And I'm not gonna tell her, I'm not gonna tell you what her number is. <laughs> but hopefully I get it right. So now it's dialing through the SIP interface. Hello. Hey, Laura. How's it going? Good. How are you? Very good. Very good. Can you uh, can you hear us, Ellie? Yes, I can. Hi, Laura. Hi, Ellie. Okay. Great. So right now we have bridging, right? I'm talking to both Ellie through video conferencing. I'm speaking to Laura through her cell phone. Laura and Ellie can say hi to each other, as you just heard, and that is bridging and dual connectivity in a nutshell. Thank you, ladies. I'm going to hang up on you guys and wrap up this video. So. That's about it. Uh, this is again, perfect for any room, tabletop, huddle room, uh, conference room, where you have more than one interface. You don't wanna buy two separate products, but you also wanna be able to do bridging. Uh, you just buy any one of our products, whether it's the Condor, the 505, the 502, even duets, and you can do bridging. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, please stay tuned for more videos. If you have any questions, let us know, and we'll make sure to answer them.